I just discovered this ridiculously simple one page website that's secretly pulling in almost a hundred thousand dollars every single month from pure passive income. So check this out. Look at these insane numbers. 1.6 million visitors, 5.39 pages per visit and a $10 RPM. That's nearly like six figures just from Google AdSense running on autopilot. And here's the crazier part. I'm about to show you exactly how to build the same type of website using just one one AI tool. I have zero coding knowledge, zero web development experience, but in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to build an exact replica of this traffic pulling machine. We're talking AI doing all the technical work for us, Google AdSense integration, Stripe for premium features, everything you need to create your own passive income website. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to build a website just like this from scratch. Now the AI tool that we're going to use today is Replit. And with my code Mikey website, you will get a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added the link in the description box down below. This project is all about recreating the magic of photo enhancement apps like Remini but doing it entirely inside of Replit using simple prompts and a few clever tools. Now the goal is to build a clean, fast and monetizable web app that takes blurry or damaged photos and then turns them into something impressive in real time. We'll include everything like real enhancement features, user accounts, premium upgrades, even ad revenue. But first, it all starts with the layout. So to begin, we're going to ask Replit, build a responsive web app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Include navigation sections like home, upload, enhance, history settings, and premium. Ensure fast routing between sections without full page reloads. Important disclaimer, building websites and making money online is not easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. When I show you how to build a website, I'm demonstrating the technical process and the potential. I am not generating your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques do work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some luck. Most websites don't make money immediately and many don't make money at all. So I'm not promising that you'll get rich or that you quit your job. This is not financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools. What you do with that knowledge, well, it's entirely up to you. So all right, with expectations set, let's go ahead and continue building the app. So after we give that prompt, Replit responds by setting up the foundation with dynamic routing between pages so that everything loads instantly without having to refresh the whole browser. Now each section, home, upload, enhance, history, settings, and premium, those get their own dedicated view and the navigation bar stays fixed while adapting nicely to smaller screens. It's a solid starting point that already feels like a real web app. One of the first things we want users to try, of course, is uploading a photo and watching it improve right away. It's a quick win that shows off what the app can do and it sets the tone for the rest of the experience. So that's the next feature we're going to build. And to do that, we'll just have to ask Replit to create the enhancement interface with this prompt. Create a component where users can upload a photo, JPEG or PNG, show a preview and an enhance now button. Simulate enhancement by applying placeholder effects, sharpen denoise upscale, show the enhanced image beside the original. So with that, Replit sets up the component just like we asked. Users can upload their images, which instantly appears in the preview window. So when they click enhance now, placeholder effects kick in to simulate a sharper, cleaner version of that photo. The enhanced result shows up right beside the original, and that makes it easier to compare the before and after. After some hands-on testing, I'm also thinking about, you know, just simplifying the interface even more. The separate enhance page isn't really necessary if you think about it. It just adds an extra click. So we're going to go back to Replit and enter this follow-up prompt. Optimize the front end and improve the UI, UX. Remove the enhanced page since it is not needed. Remove the general file upload as well. 
So after those changes are applied, everything feels a lot tighter. The upload and enhancement features now live in one streamlined view with no distractions or any extra steps. It's a lot faster, it's clearer, and it is a much smoother experience overall. Once those basic enhancements are working, our next step is giving our users more control over how their photos are processed. Because not every image needs the same treatment. Some are selfies, others are old scans, and a few just need heavy cleanup. So with that, we're going to build in multiple enhancement modes that our users can choose from. So for this part of the process, we're going to go ahead and tell Replit, add facial feature enhancement, for example, sharpen facial details, smooth skin, and old photo restoration, simulate damage repair and noise reduction. Let users toggle between enhancement types, basic, face, vintage, noise reduction, before processing. And with that, Replit responds by creating four preset options. First is basic, which does general upscaling, face-based touch-up for selfies, vintage photo restoration designed to, you know, restore older or faded images, and finally, aggressive noise reduction. Our users can select one of these modes before running the enhancement. However, the mode selector, to me, feels a little bit clunky. Switching between options isn't very intuitive, so I'm gonna go back and simply ask Replit to refine the interface with this follow-up prompt. I can't properly choose enhancement types, improve that interface to be more user-friendly. Replit will update the UI by turning the mode options into a more visual element like label tabs or icon-based buttons. It is a small shift, but it does make a big difference. As more features get added, we have to start thinking about user accounts. Because if someone enhances a photo, you know, they should be able to come back to it later and still find it there, especially if they're using the app regularly. So for this next step, I'm going to set up authentication and the personal galleries using Supabase. To enable login and private galleries, all we have to do is go back to Replit and say, add Supabase authentication email slash password. After login, let users view previously enhanced photos under their accounts with preview thumbnails and timestamps. Store image metadata in Supabase. And with that, Replit sets up Supabase to handle login, registration, and secure user sessions. During setup, it's asking for the Supabase credentials. So all we have to do is go back to our Supabase from the Supabase dashboard and then plug them in. And everything connects smoothly from here on out. Once someone does log in, they're shown a personal gallery with all of their previously enhanced photos, and each has a thumbnail and timestamp for easy browsing. Now, in the background, a Supabase keeps track of each saved photo, along with details like when it was enhanced and which user it belongs to. But after enhancing a photo, as you can see, a notification confirms it's saved, but nothing shows up in the gallery view. So we're gonna ask Kreplet to help us troubleshoot with this follow-up. I get a notification about an enhanced photo saved to the gallery, but I don't see it on the gallery page. Now here, it turns out there was a mismatch in Supabase permissions. So after following Replit's fix, the gallery updates correctly and our saved photos become visible right after enhancement. At this stage, the app already produces pretty solid enhancement results, but you know, not every user wants the same outcome. Some prefer a softer touch and others want every detail cranked up. So we're going to make the experience a lot more flexible by letting users control how strong the enhancement is and which features are applied. And to do that, we're going to let Replit know exactly what we want by saying this. Add options to adjust enhancement intensity, low, medium, and high, and enable or disable enhancement, color boost, face beautify, background pop. These settings affect how the enhancement is applied and should reflect visually in the result. And with those exact words, users can now get more control over how their photos turn out. They can choose the enhancement intensity and also switch features like color boost or face beautify on or off. The interface updates in real time to show how each setting will affect the final result, both before and after running the enhancement. 
However, sometimes one version of an enhanced photo isn't enough, especially when different styles can bring out totally different vibes. So to make the app feel a lot more creative and flexible, we're going to offer multiple enhancement variants and let our users decide which one they like best. So we'll ask Replit to help us set that up with this prompt. After enhancing a photo, generate up to six enhancement variants with slightly different styles. Display in a scrollable gallery, add a slider based before and after viewer, and a side-by-side -side toggle to compare outputs. And after that prompt, we now have a variant viewer that gives our users a fun way to explore different enhancement styles, whether they want brighter colors or a softer focus or, you know, something with more contrast. After processing a photo, they can swipe through six variations. They can pick their favorite and then compare it to the original using either a side by side view or a simple before and after slider. But you know, I'm thinking of taking things just a little bit further and improving the browsing experience, especially on mobile. So we're gonna follow up with this prompt. Increase enhancement variance to 18 and have the page more vertical instead of horizontal. After that, Replit responds by expanding the gallery to show 18 variations and stacking them in a vertical layout. This new design makes scrolling through options feel a lot smoother, especially on smaller screens, and gives users a better overall view of their enhancement choices. All right, so having all the core features in place is great, but if this app is going to be more than just a fun side project, we need a way to actually make money from it. And that means it's time to add a proper subscription system. Now, the goal here is simple. Unlock premium features like high res downloads, all enhancement variants, and advanced editing controls for users who do upgrade, and then make the whole process feel seamless. So, here's what we're going to ask Replit to do next Integrate Stripe Checkout, unlock premium features like high res downloads, full variant gallery, and advanced controls. Use test mode and webhook events to grant access. Show locked features with a Go Premium prompt. And with that, Replit rewires everything up using Stripe Checkout. So when someone does subscribe their account, they get full access to all 18 enhancement variants, the ability to download high resolution images, and of course, access to more advanced controls like intensity sliders and toggle settings. But I can see here that after completing a Stripe subscription, users aren't being redirected back to the right page. So to fix this, all we have to do is ask Reblet to update the success URL so it points to the correct domain. And that update makes sure users land back in the app smoothly after finishing their purchase. All right, so free users bring in traffic. And of course, that traffic can be monetized, right? Even without subscriptions. So to support the app while keeping the core features still accessible, we're going to integrate Google AdSense and display ads in a way that doesn't clutter the experience. And to accomplish that, we'll describe the feature to Replit like this. Add responsive ad placeholders everywhere. Maintain clean layout. Simple as that, because Replit will now add responsive ad slots across key parts of the app, mostly in non-premium sections like the home page, the upload screen, and the free result viewer. These placements make sure the ads are visible without getting in the way of like core functionality. And after deploying the app, we'll go through the standard AdSense setup. The site will be submitted for review, and once approved, we will receive a verification code. And that code is added to the HTML head section to confirm ownership. And from that point, live ad units are embedded, and they'll start showing up in the designated slots after it is verified. Even with ads in place, we made sure that the layout stays clean and it's still easy to navigate. There are no pop-ups or intrusive placements at all. It's just a subtle monetization layer built right into the flow. All right, and just like that, we built a full-featured photo enhancement web app from scratch using nothing but Reblet and a series of smart prompts. So from uploading and transforming images to premium subscriptions, personal galleries, and ad monetization, every piece is working together and ready to scale. 
And it all goes back to that one page website pulling in nearly $100,000 a month. The model works and now you've seen exactly how to recreate something just like it, even without a single line of code. Every enhancement feature, every payment flow, even the AdSense integration, all handled inside one AI powered tool. Okay, so if you want to build your own passive income machine, and if you're watching this, I know you do, the link's down below. Use my code Mikey website, M-I-K-E-Y website for a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. You don't need to be a developer. You just need a clear idea and the right tool to bring it to life. If this gave you ideas or helped you out, please do drop a like and leave a comment. I'll get back to you there and let me know what kind of project you're planning to build next. Please also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next build and it really does help me out. I've got even crazier ones coming soon. Trust me, you're going to love them. Thank you for watching and spending your time with me today.